Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 16 to the 31st Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see where this is going. There was Scorpio. A two of cups with a hierophant in the pre-shuffle. Look at me distancing myself. <laughs> okay, let me get near the Scorpios. Okay. So chances are there is some truth. Okay. Before you jump, ooh, there's a there's a relationship. There is some truth. Okay. That is coming out about how this person really feels towards you in 16 to the 31st. Okay, but let's see where this is going. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Scorpio, 16 to the 31st. Six of Pentacles. Someone is feeling rewarded. Either you're giving a reward to someone, you're giving attention. Normally, Pentacles for me is attention because it's time. So someone is giving you time off day. Okay. Now, this person over here also, someone is being gracious about it. Normally, I don't like this card. It's like, why do you have to beg for something? But if it's you who's being gracious, somebody's... Oh, I know what this means. Being gracious. I know what being gracious today means. Okay. Someone's being gracious. Goodness gracious. Great bowls of fire. Okay. Someone being gracious. Rewarding someone. Or, you know, this is someone giving compliments, stuff like that. Let me see the other person. Wow. Great bowls of fire. <laughs> Ten of cups. Gracious about feelings. Gracious about love. Being more expressive. If all the Scorpios join with me in the transit of Jupiter and Scorpio, we can change the world and have all the love for everybody. For everybody though, okay? For everybody. Not for self gains, okay? Six of Pentacles. Oh, this is, because this is um, charity. This is char um, being charitable. And, you know, it changes people's lives when you help the needy and stuff like that. Okay? That's good. If you're like that. Six of Pentacles with a Ten of Cups. Okay. You will get, if you, for example, you text something, they do reply. You express yourself, they do express themselves. Equal opportunity, just like an employer. Okay? So there's something good. There's something even between the two of you. Okay? It's almost like your eyebrows are finally even, Scorpios. Finally. <laughs> They're a twin. <laughs> Here we go. Next to the Six of Pentacles. King of Wands can be an Aries. Uh -huh. Someone who's reached to a point or a level of a part of their life that they can exert effort the way the other person is. Someone... Because the King of Wands is known as a chaser, but for me, I see it more of like... They are very passionate with the way that they express themselves. But this can be used since you're Mars ruled also. You know, someone is being more passionate, you know, it's like there's a lot of follow-up in this energy. A lot of follow-up. I feel that. Next to the Ten of Cups. Five of Pentacles. The person that you're connecting with has never felt the way that you have loved anyone else. Vice versa for cross watcher. This person has always feeling down, never loved. This person is never loved. You got me. I have to compare this to something really, really sad. You know how, for example, you know, like a rescue dog, you know, those rescue pets in particular, that they were not treated well, okay? But this can be also by their masters or whoever, whoever is the owner. So this person probably had relationships that were, that they never got this kind of love. They were always feeling that nobody will ever love me. And then they met you. The one who can express love like a crazy, crazy person. To the point of crazy. You crazy. We know that, Scorps. <laughs> because you know what love is. It's crazy. <laughs> Here we go. 
Ace of Pentacles. Wow, totally. There's even, you know, give and take over here. See? You reach out, they reach out. It's stable. It's just, oh, this is Six of Pentacles. Look at that. Instead of them, okay, not talking to you, they will start giving something. This person will also, oh, wow, this is very sad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is... They don't have anything really in their life right now, okay? You may think like they have everything in their life. But in reality, when they reach out to you, that is as much as they can give. That is everything that they have that they can give. You may think like, oh, they're doing this, oh, they're doing that. But in reality, that's not really like, you know, it's, it's, a, different, it's a different chart, okay? I'm not going to go there. But that's what you're seeing. But the tiny little energy that they give to you, I know it's so tiny. Trust me, it is tiny. The energy, the energy, okay? <laughs> the energy is tiny. It's the biggest thing already that they can get. Knight of Swords, they come running to see you again. And it might happen this winter. Meaning, um, I think winter is coming. Like, winter is coming. What is this, Game of Thrones? Mm -hmm. Hello, Jon Snow. That's what I say. Mm hmm so move over. Just move it over. <laughs> Knight of Swords, I come running. Someone will fly to see you, to see you again. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. And when this person sees you, they want to spend the four seasons. Oh, I know about the four seasons. That's what I know. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's hilarious. Here we go. What's dividing you? The sun comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need to talk. Can be a Leo. Can be a sun in Libra. Or but this is a Leo rising often. Okay. Major Arcana, the Sun card. Minor Arcana, Ace of Pentacles. If you have both, it manifests. As above, so below. It happens. Time spent. Time stamp. What was the read last time? Let the sun shine in. Scorpios, the sun is already here. Can be someone, this person you haven't spoken with. Like you probably spoke one, two, three, couple of times. They're sad. They're sad. Because you love them, they love you, but they choose a different path. To step away, to walk away. But now, what's dividing you? I got nothing, no, nothing, you know, nothing is separating you right now. Let the sun shine in. It's coming, Scorps. I told you. Jupiter in Scorpio. Embrace that energy. Okay? I'm going to continue this reading. As this is the prelude to the other one that we had. A prelude or how do you call it? The next one. Okay, the part two, basically of how this sunshine is coming to your life. I haven't had a divide, which is the sun card. I had different cards here, but not yet this one. You guys got the good one. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter, I send you guys many blessings. <laughs> Bye.